All right, so can I get a VA home loan after I've had a short sale or a foreclosure? And the answer is absolutely you can. Welcome back guys, and today we're gonna continue on our video series of the top 10 things you need to know before you get your VA home loan. And today is video number five, and it's all about having a foreclosure or a short sale, and if you can get a VA loan with that. Guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you can be updated whenever future videos come out on important topics that are going to help you. All right, guys, so I get asked this question all the time, and I mean all the time, literally like once or twice a week, and there's a lot of myths out there about the VA loans and things that are just not true, and we're going to address them today, and I'm going to walk you through them step by step. So the first one we're going to talk about is, can I get a VA loan if I've had a bankruptcy, a short sale, or a foreclosure? And I'm going to walk you through and address each one individually. And there's a lot of myths out there, and I literally get ask this question all the time and I mean literally like once or twice a week on what the time periods are on it. So the thing with VA loans, they're probably the most liberal loan program out there when it comes to forgiveness of past hiccups in your credit or things that might have happened in your past. So we're going to address them one by one and the first one is let's talk about bankruptcies. Now there's two types of bankruptcies. There's what's called a chapter seven bankruptcy and then also a chapter 13 bankruptcy. And I'm gonna address each one of those individually. So a chapter seven bankruptcy is, that's complete forgiveness. Your debt has been completely wiped out. You've gone before the bankruptcy judge and they've agreed that all your debts are owed are gonna be completely wiped out. And you're basically starting over from zero. You're starting all over again. Now with a VA loan and a chapter seven, when that happens, your waiting period is only two years. That's not that long at all. It's only two years from the date that discharge gets relieved. So when the judge says, okay, we're wiping this out, it's a chapter seven bankruptcy, and you get your official discharge date, two years from that discharge date is when you're actually eligible for a VA home loan again. Now let's talk about what a chapter 13 bankruptcy is. And a chapter 13 bankruptcy is your creditors and the bankruptcy court have all gotten together and that they've agreed on a certain amount to reduce your debts. And then they've also agreed on a smaller repayment plan that you can comfortably afford to repay those debts. And so the chapter 13, basically, you're still making payments to those creditors, but everybody's just agreed to lower the payments and to lower what the actual debt is that you owe on this. Here's what's really neat about the VA loan in a chapter 13 bankruptcy. You can literally get a VA loan just one year after a chapter 13 bankruptcy. Here's the rules behind it. You had to have made at least 12 on-time payments and the bank bankruptcy court, the bankruptcy judge has signed off on it and says it's okay for you to proceed with going into buying a home. So it's pretty awesome. It just goes to show you how liberal the VA home loan program really is when you're looking into getting a house after bankruptcy. So this just goes to show you that in comparison from a VA loan to a conventional loan, typically when someone has a chapter seven bankruptcy and they wanna get a conventional loan, it's a whole four years. It's literally double the time. And there also could be some other things that have to happen with that as well. So again, VA is very liberal in regards to when you can get a VA loan after you've had a bankruptcy, whether it's a chapter seven or a chapter 13. Okay, so let's talk about a foreclosure now. And heaven forbid, it does happen, life events happen, and something unfortunately happened and you had to actually have the house foreclosed upon. Here's what's really neat. Again, VA loans, super, super liberal. And the time it is from the date that your foreclosure is discharged and actually recorded, it actually has to be recorded on this date. You're eligible for a VA loan just two years after that foreclosure date. In comparison with a conventional loan, it's a lot longer. So again, VA loans, if you've had a foreclosure and you wanna get a VA loan, it's only two years from the date of that recording, has to be from the recording date of that foreclosure. Okay, so that's great. So we've covered the chapter seven bankruptcy, a chapter 13 bankruptcy, what those are and what the waiting periods are. And then we've also discussed a foreclosure when unfortunately the house is, is had to get foreclosed upon a waiting period for that. What about what's called a short sell? Well, first of all, let's kind of discuss and define what a short sell is. So a short sell is you're not having to foreclose upon the property. However, you're selling the house for less 
than what it was bought. We saw this happen a lot, unfortunately, during 2008, 2010, when there were a lot of bad loans that were done and we saw the property values drop and a lot of people, unfortunately, ended upside down in their homes. So if this is the case and that does happen to you, but you don't want to necessarily foreclose on the house, you can do what's called a short sell. And what a short sell is, is the bank agrees, hey, we're going to let you sell the house for less than what's owed, but we're not going to foreclose on it. So it's two years, the same as a foreclosure waiting period on a short sell to be able to get another home with your VA loan. So again, let's cover that. So two years for a foreclosure and also two years for a short sell. Okay, so that's great. So we've covered both of our bankruptcies, a chapter seven, a chapter 13, also a short sell and a foreclosure. So what happens, this happens a lot, and I don't know where this myth comes from, but I hear it all the time. And one of the biggest myths about VA loans is that you can only use your VA loan once, like ever. And that's simply not true. And we're actually gonna address that, like how many VA loans you can actually have at once in a later video that we do this. So I wanna address this real quick. And I think a lot of this comes up from someone might have had a VA loan and they might have had a foreclosure or a short sale on that VA loan. And the question comes up, hey, I had a foreclosure on my VA loan. Am I ever allowed to have another VA home loan again? And the answer is yes, absolutely. So it's the same waiting periods if you had a foreclosure or a short sale, whether it was a VA loan or not. So if it was a conventional loan you had previously or an FHA loan you had previously, it's the same waiting periods. So if you remember from video number one, this is why it's super important that we get your certificate of eligibility up front. That is the numero uno number one thing we want to get for you because that's got vital information that we need on there that tells us one, if you've had a VA loan before, two, if you currently have a VA loan, and three, if there was ever any type of loss on a previous VA loan. So if there was, that certificate of eligibility is going to have that information on there and and it's super important for us because there's a calculation and a formula that we have to use what tells us how much leftover entitlement you have. Because if you remember, every veteran has two types of entitlement. They have their basic entitlement and then they also have what's called their bonus entitlement. So it's super important that we have that certificate of eligibility up front because we need that vital information. If you're getting pre-approved by a lender and they don't have your certificate of eligibility and you're doing a VA loan, you are not pre-approved. I can't tell you how many times we have to rescue loans and we find out that the certificate of eligibility was not even ordered. Matter of fact, the VA came out a few years ago and completely changed their rules behind this. They won't even let a lender order the appraisal on a VA loan without having proof that they actually have the certificate of eligibility in hand and that they've ordered it. So it's super vital. Again, you're going to hear me harp on it, but that's why it's so important that we have that certificate of eligibility. So let's go through this recap real quick guys. So if we've had a chapter seven bankruptcy, which is again, all the debts have been wiped out. It's two years from the discharge date. If we've had a chapter 13 bankruptcy where the court has agreed with your creditors to reduce that debt and come up with a payment plan that you can afford, it's one year after the chapter 13 bankruptcy and you had to have made at least 12 on-time payments and the bankruptcy trustee uh, has to approve your new purchase for a new home. If you've had a foreclosure or a short sale, whether it was a prior VA loan or any other type of loan, it's gonna be two years from the recording date of each of those features on that. So with that, it just goes to show you exactly how liberal VA loans are and they make sense. If you ever have any questions or you doubt, just reach out and ask. A lot of it can be just some, some information that we can look up for you and, and get those ideas for you if you're eligible. Don't let something in your past keep you from being afraid to be a homeowner again. Again, VA is the most forgiving at all. If you remember in the current video we had, VA does not have a minimum credit score. And a matter of fact, about one out of four or one out of five VA loans are what's called a manual underwrite, where it's just the loans underwritten in an old fashioned way. And we just have to tell a little bit more of a story. VA loans are very uh, storytelling driven. And a matter of fact, VA has directly in their handbook as long as we can document most things, the VA actually encourages for VA underwriters to improve the loan. So the moral of the story is, 
document, document, document. We have to be able to prove everything with paperwork and proof. Just like if we were going to trial in court, we gotta have that documentation to do that. So guys, I hope that helped. So again, chapter seven, chapter 13 bankruptcies, both of those are eligible. Chapter seven is two years, chapter 13 is one year, and a short sell and a foreclosure is two years. And again, if you've had a previous VA loan that you had a foreclosure or short sell on, it does not mean you cannot never get another VA loan again. We just have a calculation that we have to work with on that. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. If you haven't already, give us a like and subscribe. Give us a comment below. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.